Could we be sharing our universe with other life forms? Think about a cosmos brimming with vitality, stretching out beyond the confines of our Earth to converge with the far-reaching celestial objects. Our curiosity for extraterrestrial existence isn't a novel concept. It has occupied the minds of thinkers and scholars for hundreds of years. Now ponder upon this. Life as we know it might not only be confined to unknown remote exoplanets, but could there be there be a possibility that it exists on one of our very own celestial satellites? The mere thought is enough to set our imaginations running wild, eliciting a flurry of questions and sparking an untamed excitement for the unknown. Yet, this isn't just some unfounded speculation. It's an intriguing hypothesis gradually gaining recognition and validation within the scientific fraternity. As we delve deeper into the uncharted territories of space exploration, we're slowly unraveling the mysteries that our universe holds. So, hold on to your hats, because the quest to discover life beyond Earth is just beginning. The answer might be closer. A new discovery on Jupiter's icy moon Europa has sparked a wave of excitement in the scientific community. This thrilling revelation comes courtesy of the James Webb Space Telescope, a marvel of modern technology that's been peering into the depths of space with unparalleled precision. The telescope, while observing the celestial body, made a startling observation. It found that carbon and carbon dioxide were escaping from the underground of Europa, seeping through the icy surface and into the thin, tenuous atmosphere. This is no small feat as Europa's surface is covered in a layer of ice that's miles thick, a shell that hides a world of mysteries beneath. This emission of carbon and carbon dioxide is a significant finding. You see, carbon is a fundamental building block of life as we know it. It's present in every known living organism on Earth, from the tiniest bacteria to the towering sequoia trees. Carbon is the backbone of our DNA, the fuel for our bodies, and the key ingredient in the complex dance of life. Carbon dioxide, on the other hand, is a byproduct of many biological processes and plays a crucial role in Earth's carbon cycle. The presence of these elements on Europa, especially their emission from the underground, suggests there might be some form of geological or even biological activity happening beneath the icy surface. Could there be hydrothermal vents, similar to those found in Earth's deep oceans, spewing out these compounds? Or perhaps, just perhaps, there's something more… something alive? It's a tantalizing thought, one that's rekindling our curiosity and fueling our desire for exploration. This discovery has opened up a plethora of questions, and the scientific community is buzzing with theories, ideas, and the sheer thrill of the unknown. But what does this mean? Could this be a sign of life? To understand the implications of this discovery, we first need to understand Europa. This moon of Jupiter is not your typical satellite. It's a dynamic world, encased in a shell of ice that conceals a subsurface ocean deep beneath. Now, an ocean might conjure images of Earth's seas, but Europa's ocean is far from ordinary. It's a vast salty expanse believed to contain more than twice the volume of all Earth's water combined. Here's where things get interesting. The existence of this ocean, coupled with the Moon's unique chemistry, makes Europa one of the most likely places in our solar system to host life. That's right, life. Not little green men, mind you, but perhaps microbial life forms that have managed to thrive in this extreme environment. But how do we know all this? Well, thanks to the data collected from previous missions such as Galileo and the upcoming NASA mission, the Europa Clipper. This spacecraft is set to conduct flybys of Europa, analyzing the moon's surface chemistry, capturing high-resolution images, and hopefully providing us with more insights about its potential habitability. But there's a twist. Recent studies suggest that Europa may have less oxygen than we previously thought. This revelation could limit the prospects for life, or it could challenge our assumptions about what life requires. After all, the presence of salts and other compounds on Europa's surface suggests the potential for hydrothermal vents and nutrient-rich environments that could support microbial life, even in the absence of abundant oxygen. So in summary, Europa is far from a cold, dead world, it's a moon with an icy surface hiding a subsurface ocean and potentially life. It's a place of extreme conditions, where life as we know it might just be possible. And that's what makes the recent discovery of carbon and carbon dioxide on Europa so exciting. Europa is not just another moon in our solar system, it's a world full of possibilities. Let's dive into the science behind this thrilling discovery. 
The detection of carbon and carbon dioxide on Europa is significant because these are fundamental building blocks for life as we understand it. Carbon is the backbone of all organic matter, the stuff that makes up living organisms on Earth, from bacteria to humans. Carbon dioxide, on the other hand, plays a key role in photosynthesis, a process that's critical to life on our planet. But how do these elements escape to the surface of Europa? The answer lies in the Moon's complex geological activity. Europa is constantly bombarded by high-energy particles from Jupiter's magnetic field. This bombardment can break down water molecules on the Moon's icy surface, releasing oxygen. The oxygen can then react with the carbon beneath the surface to form carbon dioxide. The carbon and carbon dioxide escape from the subsurface through cracks and vents in the ice. This is a process known as outgassing. It's a similar process to what happens on Earth when carbon dioxide is released from volcanoes, or when it bubbles out of a fizzy drink. It's these gases that the James Webb Space Telescope detected escaping from Europa's surface. This doesn't necessarily mean there's life on Europa, but it does indicate that the Moon has the right chemistry for life. It's got the necessary elements, carbon, water and energy from Jupiter's magnetic field. It's also got the right conditions, a stable environment protected by a thick ice shell and possibly a liquid water ocean beneath the surface where life could thrive. This isn't just about finding life, it's about understanding the conditions that make life possible. The implications of this discovery are far-reaching. This isn't just about the potential for life on Europa, it's about the potential for life beyond Earth, beyond our solar system. This discovery, the tantalizing whispers of carbon and carbon dioxide escaping from Europa's icy depths, is a significant piece in the cosmic puzzle of life. It suggests that life, or at least the conditions for life, may not be as unique to Earth as we once thought. It could be that life's ingredients, the chemical building blocks necessary for existence, are more common in our universe than our planet-centric perspective has allowed us to imagine. The discovery on Europa invites us to revisit our understanding of life, to expand our definitions and broaden our horizons. This discovery also sets the stage for future exploration and research on Europa. The upcoming NASA mission, Europa Clipper, is poised to provide invaluable insights into the Moon's habitability. The spacecraft, equipped with cutting-edge instruments, will analyze the Moon's surface chemistry, map its subsurface and capture high-resolution images. It will not land, but its flybys will provide a close look at the icy Moon, allowing us to probe deeper into its secrets. Moreover, the discovery on Europa underscores the importance of comparative planetology, the study of planets to understand our own. By studying Europa, we're not only probing the potential for life elsewhere, we're also gaining insights into our own planet, its history and its future. The data from Europa could help us understand Earth's own ocean dynamics, climate change, and even the origins of life. The discovery on Europa isn't just a scientific breakthrough, it's a philosophical one. It challenges us to reevaluate our place in the cosmos, to consider the possibility that we're not alone, that life might be a cosmic rather than an earthly phenomenon. It forces us to grapple with big questions about existence, identity, and purpose. This discovery doesn't just change our understanding of Europa, it changes our understanding of life. The discovery on Europa opens up new doors for space exploration. This revelation is more than just a scientific breakthrough, it's a testament to human curiosity and our endless pursuit of knowledge. With each new discovery, we edge closer to answering the age-old question, are we alone in the universe? As we look to the future, the endless expanse of space becomes a map of endless possibilities. The James Webb Space Telescope, along with future exploratory missions like NASA's Europa Clipper, will continue to probe the mysteries of our solar system and beyond. And it's not just about finding life. It's about understanding the fundamental processes that make life possible, even in the harshest conditions. Our journey doesn't stop at Europa. There are countless other celestial bodies waiting to share their secrets. Enceladus, another icy moon with a subsurface ocean, and Mars, our planetary neighbor, are just two examples. Each discovery we make on these worlds brings us one step closer to understanding our own place in the cosmos. And as technology advances, so too does our ability to explore. Today we send spacecraft to distant moons and planets. Tomorrow we may be able to send humans further into space than ever before. The potential for manned missions to Mars or even beyond is becoming less a question of if and more a question of when. 
The discovery on Europa is just the beginning, it's a stepping stone on the path to a future where the exploration of space is as common as exploring our own Earth. As we continue to explore the vast universe, who knows what we'll discover next?